Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And try to make it comfortable. Make it a good breath to be with. After all, this is your body. Nobody's telling you that you have to breathe in a way that makes you uncomfortable. So make the most of this. This way you can gain some independence. You have an independent source of well-being here inside. This way your goodness doesn't have to depend on everything outside being good. If you're feeling ill at ease, if you're feeling weak inside, you tend to lean on other people. And when they're good to you, you're good to them. If they're not good to you, well, that's pretty easy not to be good to them. That way you're dependent. Your goodness is dependent on other people's goodness, which is a bad situation to be in because you know what other people are like. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not so good. And if you allow your goodness to depend on theirs, you can't trust your own goodness. After all, we want to live a life where we're not harming anybody, and yet we turn around and do harm, harmful things to ourselves, harmful things to other people. And the excuse is, well, they did it first. Well, the fact that they did it doesn't mean anything. The fact is you're leaning on them and you're in a position of weakness. If you want to be in a position of strength, you want to make yourself independent. And this is what real independence is. You've got a sense of well-being inside. That allows you to do the right thing, say the right thing, think the right thing at the right time. You have the strength, you have the clarity of mind. That your goodness can be become dependable. So spend some time getting acquainted with the breath inside. How it feels as it comes in, how it feels as it goes out. When it's too long, when it's too short, you can make adjustments. Too heavy, too light, too fast, too slow, you can make adjustments again. It's yours. Here it is, your own independent source of energy. We're talking about, we talk about energy independence. Well, here's a way of being independent in terms of your energy, in terms of your clarity. When the mind settles down in the present moment, it can see things a lot more clearly. It's like standing in front of a tree as opposed to running past it. If someone were to ask you how many birds are there in the tree, what's the shape of the tree, is it healthy, is it not, the fact that you're standing there still allows you to observe it. If you're running past, all you see is a blur. So as the mind gets still here in the present moment with a sense of ease, you've got the clarity to see what's right and you've got the strength to do what's right. And that's the kind of independence that's really, really worthwhile. As for independent governments, well, sometimes, who knows, you say people from another country, they're not good running our country. Well, are the people running our country, are they good? You don't know. And this applies to every country in the world. That kind of independence is not so important. That what's really important is you want to make sure that your goodness is independent. And that way you can live in the world and you can trust yourself. If you can't trust yourself, then who are you going to trust? So you've got to make yourself trustworthy. That gives you something solid to depend on, something inside that doesn't depend on anything outside at all.